Hi everyone, it is Flexibility Friday and today we are just gonna roll with an ice wine bottle. How do you do that? Three quarters of the water filled up to about this point. Stick it in your freezer. Make sure you've got the cork in there nice and tight. And this is a great myofascia release tool. So let's just get going. I'm gonna start off with a little calf work. So if you start to see, it's gonna start to frost. I have a little towel there in case. So this is a great way to get some extra myofascia release. And especially if you don't have a foam roller at home and you've just got a wine bottle that's empty. Of course, an empty one really <laughs> is important. Again, three quarters full with water and plug it in. So you notice I am not even rolling traditionally on my calf. I'm just kind of turning it in and turning it out. And then you can of course turn and do a normal calf roll, just like that. What's great about the arc of a wine bottle, it works perfectly to ice those really sore areas in your body. Keep going, we're gonna keep rolling it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bounce, bounce it a little bit. So just a little bit of a bounce and that's gonna penetrate that muscle as well. Then I'm gonna hold the bottle right at my Achilles and you can roll in and you can roll out and this feels amazing. I've been doing a lot more running outside, walking outside, so your feet and your shins and your calves are gonna get really tight. So this is an excellent one. Again, I'm just doing some cross fiber work across my ankle and if you find a spot that's tender, you can do a two to three inch roll on that and that should feel fabulous. And let's take the other one and I'm gonna roll the second one technique first. Just keep rolling in and out. Notice I'm changing the angle of my calf. I'm turning way out and turning way in. Now there's no concern that the bottle will break because it's filled up with all that ice. And then let's do that secondary technique. I'll turn this way so you can see it. I'm just sitting on my hip and rolling back and forth. And I've got a tight spot. So again, if you have a tight spot that you find, you can hold it on that spot and do some cross fiber work by just tilting side to side. I'm gonna go ahead and get down on my lower leg and then do an Achilles hold again. I'm gonna be really excited about decompressing that Achilles from all the walking and running I've done. And then you're just gonna go inside and outside and compress. Now you can roll the tops of your feet just like this, it'll feel really good. You can also hold the bottle right on the toes. You're gonna feel that. You can absolutely roll the bottoms of the feet or hold the feet on top. That's gonna take some of the inflammation on the bottom foot. So I'm gonna go ahead again and roll tops of the arches. You wanna do this pretty gently since this is a pretty hard surface that you're rolling on. And then go ahead and press on the toes all across the toes and then right up on the arch of the foot. Hi guys, can't see you but um, leave some comments and I'll uh, answer them when I get off live. From there let's go ahead and take it a step up. So we've done the calves, we're gonna do the hamstrings. Oh my goodness, this feels amazing. Again the arc of that bottle is perfect to penetrate some of those deeper muscles. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sit right at the base of my buttocks, top of the hamstring, and I'm just gonna add loads. So you can go off and on, and you could put as much weight as you need to. And then I'm gonna creep down my hamstring all the way down. So as you go down that hamstring, you're gonna notice if you've got a really tender spot, you may wanna do a little more work in that area. And then I'm gonna take the other side don't have a long time today. All the way up and down that hamstring, the wine bottle feels amazing. Now I've used a little bit heavier wine bottle. I don't think it really matters once you have it filled up. And it starts to squish around in about 10, 15 minutes. So you've got plenty of time. And then on that break between the glute and the hamstring, notice I'm just sitting on that wine bottle. And then you're gonna go on and off adding load and notice I'm inching that wine bottle down my hamstring. I'm adding body weight as I go all the way down. Now if you've got tender knees or inflammation behind the knees, you can set the right behind the knees and just rest. You want to go deeper, you straighten your knees. If you can't do that straight up, you can lean back. It's a great way to take out the inflammation behind the knees. Quick roll on the quad. 
You go right up to the kneecap, don't roll across the knee. You can do inside, you can do outside. We're gonna do some IT, but right now we're just gonna do a little bit of quad rolling. And again, this is just a way for you to figure out if you've got an area that's tender. Now, if your hands get cold, you can always grab a set of gloves, put a towel over it. I happen to really like the way it feels on my hands when it's icy cold. And my quads feel pretty good, but I'll show you another way to get them when we're facing down. From there, let's go ahead and do a quick shin roll. So you're gonna go face down, and you're just gonna roll outside the bone. Be very careful to not roll across the bones of your shins. And then place it on the front of the ankle for some compression work. You can also tilt side to side on that as well. Let's do the other one. Just a quick roll for the shins. If you do the backs of the legs, you definitely want to do the fronts of the legs as well. And then I'm going to go right up onto that ankle, add some compression, give it a little time. Feels awesome. And then for the quad, you would do the same thing. I'm going to use one at a time. And notice my back leg is bent. I'm just rolling up and down the quad from the hip flexor which you can hold all the way up and all the way down oh my goodness amazing perfect arc you get that nice cold feel very deep in the muscles and then I'm just gonna switch to this side so that you can see me back leg is bent I'm actually not putting all my weight on my leg, I'm elevated, kind of like I'm in a plank position. You can turn in, you can turn out. I'm gonna roll that down a little bit more. Make sure you don't roll across your knee and if you've got some tender spots, you can hold it there for a moment. I'm gonna hold it on my hip flexor because that one's been bugging me for the last couple of days. And then from here, I'm just gonna turn sideways. This is the IT roll. Side saddle it, I'm not putting all my weight on it, and you're just gonna go hip to the knee. All three positions apply here. Side saddle works, crossover works, and stacking works, but you don't really need to stack because it's a much harder surface that you're rolling on. So just make sure you get the whole IT. And then I'm gonna roll it on up here, sit on my glute, square four. So the same hip you're rolling on, you're gonna bring that leg up, and you're gonna roll across that butt cheek. Nice and long. The closer the knee is to the floor, the deeper the work. And then I'm gonna flip that over. So nice, long reach. I'm gonna do the same position on this side, which is a crossover, hip to the knee for the IT. Turn up, turn down, and then let's do that glute. God, the cold is amazing. So all the way down and all the way up. I'm almost going to the waistline. Then from there, let's go ahead and just lay on it. So I've got it right on my shoulder blades. We're just gonna do an easy roll there, open up the chest. You can roll all the way up and down the back, but I'm just gonna do a compression here today. So hold it, open up the chest, roll a little higher for your traps. You can do any form of movement side to side. Give it some time so that the cold can settle into any area of your back that's really tight. So I've got a nice spot right at my traps. I'm just gonna hold it there. Take a nice deep breath in, open up the chest. And again, you can roll all the way up and down the back. Take a deep breath in, tuck it, and let's finish off with some upper body. So we're just gonna do an easy hold. So notice I'm hugging my wine bottle. <laughs> that sounds really bad. But hug it to penetrate it, and then you can go ahead and roll your forearm. People with tendonitis, this is great. You can do it on a tabletop. You can do your biceps, the head of the biceps. And we'll just do a quick one again. Hold it to start to get that area nice and chilled. Just giving it a nice biceps curl, a nice hold. And then roll it, flip the hand over to get the forearm. Take a nice deep breath in. Of course, you should be breathing the whole time. And then up the biceps. Oh, that feels great. As you compress and push, you can go right into that elbow break. And then I'm gonna finish off with a little hold on the neck. So all I'm doing is stretching one side, compressing on the other. Deep breath in, 
and exhale. Take the other side, hold it, compress. Nice deep breath again. Give it as much time as you need for it to get nice and cold. Arms up, deep breath in, exhale. I hope you enjoyed a little myofascia release with my favorite wine bottle today. Remember, three quarters up, ice it, put the cork in. Have a great day, I'll see you next time.